Aquarius. Okay, so this is the Cricut Easy Press 2. No, not the medium size one. No, it's not the medium size one, that's the biggest one. This is the biggest one. That's the, that's the big one. That's the, that's the, it's like two. Well, goddamn! This is the Cricut Easy Press 2. This is the biggest one on the market because I'm spoiled. But that's okay because I deserve it, right? The easy presses, you use it for iron-on, a bunch of stuff, like canvas, regular fabric, cotton. I'm not too sure. There's probably different, you know, temperatures for different fabrics, of course, but we'll get there when we get there. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, it's for this. Oh, okay. Why are you so sweet? You are so thoughtful. I love you. So the reason why I'm assuming the project that we're going to do for the Cricut is we're going to use this little canvas bag for the actual press and we're going to put this little scene on top and that's so cute. The first, you know, practice test, right? This is the holder part. You know, when your device is hot, you'll put it on that. You can pretty much do so many things with this thing. I'm learning and you're learning. We're both learning. Well, I'm excited to go on this journey with you, this crafting journey with you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> All right, first things first. Step one, plug in your machine and turn it on. To adjust the temperature on your easy press, you're going to simply press the temperature button and arrange the temperature to where you want it. Once it stops blinking, it's set. It's the same procedure for the time settings. Just press the clock, adjust the time, and it's set. Every type of fabric has its own settings, so make sure you do your research for the type of fabric you're working with. I'm going to use my Easy Press mat, but if you don't have one, never fear. You can always use a towel, just make sure you fold it at least two times. Next is preparing your fabric. Ironing the fabric allows it to become wrinkle-free and ensures the iron-on material were ironed on correctly. Once your fabric is prepped, you're ready to place on your iron-on material. Make sure your iron-on material is exactly where you want it before you iron it. Making sure that the iron-on material is shiny side up is also very important. Once you're sure of the position, then you're ready to iron it. The first iron is for 30 seconds. You're going to firmly press the iron down on the fabric. Once you're done, you're going to flip the material over and then iron the back side of the fabric for half the time. So here, it was for 15 seconds. Next, we will let the iron-on material cool down, and then we're ready to peel it. Make sure you're peeling very slowly. I know it looks like I'm peeling it super fast, but in this video, it's sped up, so I'm actually peeling it very slowly. And once you're done peeling it, you're all done! Yeah, you do.